Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Car Help For You. So um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to tighten or loosen the handbrake cable on an Audi A3. So basically, our interior looks like this, as you can see, it's a five-speed manual. So if we just hover it over the top, if we come to the back of the armrest, so we're sat in the rear of the vehicle right now. <clears throat> sorry, so we're sat in the rear of the vehicle. What's easier is if you lift this up and then slide, slowly, sorry, take it down. It will go down, I think, if we go the full way. Yeah, there we are. Then what we've got to do is we've got to remove these two. Removing the method's quite easy. You just take that up and there we are. All I did was just, uh, just, bend, just bend this finger like that and it'll come up like that. So there's that out. <coughs> and this one, if you can look carefully there, it's starting to come out. So basically all you've got to do is you just got to go like that because it's just clipped in around here. And your handbrake adjustment is just that nut there. So what you need is a 10 mm. <coughs> and all you've got to do is just put it on. And it's literally lefty loosey, righty tighty. So left is for loose. I could use that side for anyone in the comments starts saying why not using that side? The bearings have broke. We've got some new ones on order. We've actually got some snap-on ones on order, which are obviously good quality. And you just go left to loosen it, or right to tighten it. So we'll just go, we just need to go two left. We've already done ours. We just need to go two left, and it's fine. So what this car's issue actually was, was when you were putting the clutch down, giving it first gear and trying to take off, the car was reluctant to take off, so it was quite stiff and hard in its spot. You'd have to, no matter what happens, give it accelerator to take it off. And for a diesel, it should start moving on the clutch, really. So, we checked the handbrake, and the handbrake wasn't right. So now all we've done is we put the handbrake down, and we adjusted it. <coughs> so we'll just put our hand in there, make sure it's not going to come off yet. So that's fine. So once that's done, all you've then got ahead, go, go ahead and do is start putting the car back. And it is literally as you took it apart so just go nice and easy so you don't start scratching any panels or anything that's got some sort of grease on it it's a bit shiny but it's got, it's got some sort of grease i'm not sure what it is <coughs> but anyway so once that's in this one just slots in you can close it and if you look on the either side there it'll just slot into there so all you've got to do is uh, sorry what you want to do actually i'm wrong there what you want to do is you want to keep it open and then put it in and it'll go in on a bit of a slant and it'll just push down and click and as you can see they're not coming out but if i do want it out like i said that's all you've got to do push it back in make sure they're all back in nice and snug there we are we are aware of missing these but the thing come in to get this sorted i'm not even sure what that is there didn't come in to get these sorted, it came in to get the handbrake sorted, we've sorted the handbrake, it's literally as easy as that. I'm not sure if I mentioned, it is a 10mm spanner or socket or whatever you're going to be using, it's 10mm. And it is literally very, very easy in the Audi A3. Other cars may be similar, but I can't guarantee it as we are working on this one. Some cars have a cable adjuster just about here, some have it just here, some have it here. This has got it here, and some in fact have it, you have to come from upwards, from underneath upwards, so it all depends on what car you're on. Anyway, I do hope this has helped you, please like, share and subscribe, thank you.